Good day, Mustangs. Today is Wednesday, April 15, 2020, and I'm Nicole Lubinsky. Thanks for joining us once again for our Cyber School edition of Mustang News. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to our top story. This evening, parents will have a unique opportunity to ex experience a one-of-a-kind presentation hosted by FSA for its parents. Supporting your child through the pandemic is a virtual presentation taking place from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. for our FSA families. It is presented by Dr. Karen Rowland. She's an expert in school counselor preparation and counselor education and currently works at Mercer University. Parents, please refer to your emails for the Zoom link access. The workers of Manhattan Construction are practicing social distancing on the job, which means the job is still getting done. Construction crews, while making sure to observe safe distances on the work site, have started filing the building structure for phase two of the expansion. While we were still in school, we saw that all their walls go up. But since we have been observing shelter in place, the inner walls and sections are getting filled in. This new expansion will add more classes, labs, and a dedicated space for high schoolers. If reading is your thing, then you need to sign up. The middle and high school reading bowl teams are looking for new members for the 2020 to 2021 school year. If you're a rising 6th or 12th grader who loves to read, please attend the digital informational meeting tomorrow, Thursday, April 16th, or on Friday, April 17th at 3.35. You only need to attend one meeting. Ms. Rogers will be emailing out the Zoom link, but you can also email her at crogers at fultonscienceacademy.org for the link. A lot of our students have been sharing ideas on how they're spending their quarantine time out of class. But we would like to introduce you to one student who took his thinking a bit further, as his focus is making sure your space is sanitized. Here's more. For 11th grader Don Jun Jiang, the COVID-19 virus has really made an impact personally with him, and he decided he wanted to make a positive contribution. I was constantly getting updates from my friends and families back in Korea. Not only I was worried about them, but I also thought about the many people working in hospitals trying to cure patients. So he took an inventive but practical approach for his love of robotics, future engineering aspirations, and came up with an idea that can help out the community. He specifically wanted to focus on the clean and disinfecting aspects of dealing with COVID-19 by health workers. He shares with Mustang News just how his disinfecting robot will work. By developing a robot that can disinfect surfaces. UV light is well known for destroying bacteria and viruses and sodium hypochlorite is a EPA approved substance for use against the virus that causes COVID-19. The motor on the bottom of the robot will be able to adjust the angle of the slope in which the UV light lamp and the spray nozzle is attached. It is Don Jun's hope that once school is back in a traditional setting, he hopes to bring this idea to a prototype by taking his small idea and making a huge impact. For Mustang News, I'm Akshay Maharaj. In our social distancing and fun segment, we meet a couple of students who are having fun and giving back to the community in a big way. It's all about the masks and making sure there is enough. After making custom stone protective masks, they're distributing them to the community. It's not just about the masks, but the shields are protecting them as well. Physicians are using them all over their masks for extra coverage. Let's take a quick look. Even though the shelter-in-place order is still in place, there are ways you can volunteer from your home. You can thank a healthcare worker. Hands on Atlanta is teaming up with local hospitals and offering a turnkey write letter writing campaign. Use hashtag write something good and share your letters across social media. Another option is to help a fellow student in need. Upchief allows you to connect with a student from a Title I school and provide live academic support. Download the app and set your schedule and you will get a text when someone needs help and you can help support students when you're free. For more ways to help, check out the school-wide newsletter for a list of how you can volunteer di digitally. Starting this week, you will have the chance to join optional middle school virtual clubs. Students were sent via email information regarding this opportunity. The clubs range from singing to exercise, short story, and even chat rooms for Science Olympian. For a more detailed list, check out the school-wide newsletter. It's time for a quote of the day. Today's quote comes from Napoleon Hill, an American self-help author. 
He is best known for his book, Think and Grow Rich, which is among the top 10 best-selling self-help books of all time. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. According to the Weather Channel, it looks like temperatures will range from average highs in the high 60s and lows in the low 40s. The pollen cap for today and tomorrow will still be high, so take the necessary precautions if you are an allergy sufferer. You can check out pollen.com for daily updates. Get ready to laugh at the joke of the day. Why can't you ever tell a joke around glass? It would crack up! A quick announcement before we go. The annual Athletics Awards will shift to a virtual presentation via Zoom. The date stays the same on April 24th. Check your inboxes for details on this event coming soon and stay with Mustang News for updates on the event. And that's a wrap. See you right here on Friday for another cyber edition of Mustang News. I'm Nicole Dubinsky, and remember Mustangs, as we stay home and wash our hands, we are saving lives, and we are always hashtag stronger together.